good day, lovely people. Today is the day that I report to base. But I am about to head to Chicago, and guess what? My flight's delayed, but that's okay. That gives me time to figure out parking at this airport. My mom dropped me off today because I don't know where to park yet. And, um, and I'm hungry. So, and guess what I got back? <laughs> the best thing ever, KCM. So I can avoid this god awful TSA line. Uh, life is good. See y'all when I get to Chicago. Well, at the terminal, flight got delayed till 2.34. It was originally supposed to depart at 1, 1 something, 107. But I had to get here early because my little brother flew in this morning. My mom didn't want to make two airport runs, so I'm just chilling. Right now, I'm at Cadillac. Y'all see that? There we go. Cadillac Mexican Kitchen and Tequila Bar. In Texas, you can't drink before 12 p.m. on a Sunday, or you can't, they can't serve alcohol before 12 p.m. on a Sunday, and it's 1130. So I was looking forward to having a nice little margarita or something. Is he talking? Somebody was talking. Could y'all hear me? All this noise. Anyways, so we'll see if I end up getting a little margarita or not, but, um, I wanted some eggs and bacon, but they stopped serving breakfast at 10, so I'm just gonna have to get some enchiladas or some Baja fried shrimp tacos. Something, because I'm starving. Um, I don't want to vlog too much because I don't know what I did with my battery charger for this camera. I think I left it in San Antonio. I texted my knucklehead cousin and he hasn't even responded to me yet. So, I don't know how I'm losing things, but I'm losing them. And I can't find my Black Girl Magic pin. I really feel like I brought it to training with me, and I was gonna wear it one day, and I decided not to wear it, and I don't know where it is. And then today I was looking through my jewelry bag, which is where I put it, and it wasn't in there. Ready? Yes! I was um, like, look at her, she's all. <laughs> Can I have the, the chicken enchiladas? Yes, ma'am. Are those good? The enchiladas are good. They come with rice and beans as well. Refried so beans? Some, yes, refried beans or charro, whichever you like. Refried. Okay. Yeah, I'll just do that. Yeah. The chicken enchiladas? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, not a problem. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be right back. I'm losing all kinds of things, so I'm gonna have to reorder one of those pins because that's my favorite pin to wear other than the little one that looks like my face. It's not really my face, but it looks a lot like me. <laughs> um, and then after I eat, I'm gonna go see if I can talk to one of these um, gate agent employees for American and see where they park at this airport or where they can send me to find out about parking information just to kill some time. I believe my airline and where I'm based, they give us $30 towards um, any type of transportation that we use. So you can either use it towards employee parking, and that's on a monthly basis. So I can either use it towards employee parking at the airport, or I can use it towards like Uber transportation, or um, I guess when I get to Chicago, whatever, they got blue lines and red lines, whatever train, whatever they got out there. But I'm just gonna use it for parking. Um, because it annoys me to have to get to the airport early. And I'm sure it's gonna drive Okay, thank you. Um, and I know my mom don't wanna have to keep taking me to and from the airport either. Um, so yeah, I need to get that handled quickly. So yeah, y'all, um, that's it. I'll give y'all an update later. Hopefully this battery doesn't die on me. Y'all see this pimple just trying to shine through. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, it is now 12.52. Um, I found a super nice gate agent. Shout out to you. I don't know what your name was, I'm sorry. Um, but I asked her about the parking and she gave me the lady's phone number to contact. I called her it's Sunday, so I guess she's off. Left her a voicemail. So hopefully she'll call me back soon with some information. Uh, did I tell y'all we got our schedules? 
We got our schedules for August, clearly. Um, we didn't get to bid for them because we were in training, blah, 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 blah. But, ooh, they moved, ooh, they did not move it. Ooh, ooh, why won't they move this? Um, anyways, so I'm looking at, is this gonna focus? It's not gonna focus enough for y'all to see. Anyways, today is Sunday, the 11th, August 11th. Today's my cousin's birthday, shout out to you, Corenza. Um, tomorrow we have base tour, starting at 7 a.m. And then, that's it. Um, and then they have me off Tuesday and Wednesday, which I'm not really a fan of. And then I'm on reserve Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. One, two, three, four, five days. So they have me off for two days. I don't want to be off. I just want to get this um, show rolling. Y'all know what I mean? Um, so I put in a swap to change my reserve day from the 19th to the 14th. So that means I would just be off one day and then be on reserve Wednesday to Monday. And then I could go home Monday to Friday for that week and then come back. And I'm probably gonna try to finagle some more stuff. So I can, y'all know I like to be at home for long periods of time. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really the only update that I have for y'all. Just couldn't remember and I'm pretty sure I didn't tell y'all about that. Um, so yeah, that's it. So just waiting for the flight. It hasn't been delayed anymore. Um, we now depart at 2.40 p.m. Original flight time was at 1.07, 1.17, something like that. I don't know what the reason for the delay is and I can't remember what the name of that app is that tells you like ground holds or what's going on in certain cities. If y'all can remember, please let me know so I can um, put that back on my phone because for times like this, I really like to know like what's going on and why we're delayed. Anyways, Alexia out. All right, y'all, just made it to the hotel in Chicago at 6.47. Finally got on the flight, made it here. I slept majority of the flight. Then I watched some Netflix movies. Y'all always download your Netflix movies before you get on the plane. It just comes in handy, especially when you don't have free Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's definitely one thing that I'm going to miss. If any of y'all know a hookup on that, let your girl know, please. Please, please, please. I can't find something, so I'm just like emptying out my bag trying to see if I can find it. I really hate if I lost it. I'm thinking I did, which sucks. I'm just, I hate losing things. I got hats. Hats. Anyways, um, as I was rolling in, I saw a few of my classmates sitting, what are some papers? I saw a few of my classmates sitting outside, like, just chilling. So we're all here at the hotel, so the cup, and we're rooming again, so Brittany is out living her best life probably um, but they gave us three moving days and so they provided a hotel for us while we had those three moving days so today is the last moving day so I don't know how long some people have been here but Brittany and I just got here today okay I can't. <sighs> that is so frustrating to me Anyways, um, I'm trying to just dump out on the bed. I'm trying to put just get on from that bag. <laughs> I'm hungry is what are, the point that I'm trying to get to. So I'm going to go downstairs and see if any of those classmates of mine want to go grab a bite to eat. Um, and yeah, that's really, 
that's about it um we have to be at the airport tomorrow morning at by seven o'clock is when our base tour starts so they serve breakfast starting at five and the hotel shuttle is little and it's it can hold maybe like 10 people um so dang are we supposed to bring our totes tomorrow i i hope not <laughs> um what was i saying so yeah, it's 40 of us in the classroom and then plus whatever people are staying at this hotel that are going to need to use the shuttle. So my point being here is that I'm going to try to take an earlier shuttle so um, I'm not like crammed downstairs with the rest of my classmates that are trying to catch the 6.30 shuttle to make it there at 7. So that's my plan. With that being said, I'm not going to be up all night. It's Sunday. I'm going to watch Big Brother and call it a night. See y'all tomorrow. Hey guys. So I said I was done for the night. Just got back from eating with the crew. Um, with the crew. With the classmates. Found my black girl magic pin. <laughs> I forgot that I put it on this hat. I don't... It's literally been there. Forever. Um, so that's one thing that I did not lose that I thought I lost. Um... <sighs> But I just don't, I lost one of my ear pods. <laughs> and those were a birthday gift. My Apple AirPods, like, just in the hustle and bustle of trying to get on the aircraft and valet checking one of my bags. And the man would not stop talking to me. So I took it out of my ear so I could respond to him. And so he realized that I was listening to him because I was doing what he was asking, but he kept repeating himself like I couldn't hear him. And so I just, the right one, I just took it out. And I don't know what happened to it after that. I remember taking my laptop out of my rollerboard, putting it in my tote bag, somewhere in between there, it fell out of my hand. And now it's gone. So, my heart wouldn't be, like, so hurt over it because it's just an electronic headphone, like, whatever. But they were a gift from a very special person. And I feel bad that I lost them because I'm just not the type to lose things. I say that all the time because it's the truth. I mean, either somebody stole them from me or I just was not on my game. And today was just... One of those days I wasn't on my game today. So anyways, just wanted to tell y'all that little update. Um, now I'm just about to take my uniform out of this bag somewhere um, and just get it ready for tomorrow morning. So all of this can just stay packed because I'm thinking, oh, I can just take my tote bag to the airport tomorrow. But no, like so you're not coming back here tomorrow. So I have to take all of my stuff with me tomorrow to the airport and then my cousin is going to pick me up after base tour is done I think I need to figure that out because I really don't know I didn't really think this through I didn't think maybe uh, I'll call my sister I'm going to bed, y'all. Good morning. It is the day of base orientation, and I want y'all to laugh at Jenny over there. Look, Alexia, I'm about to zoom in. On, um, consolidation. Look at what she did. Please, please, please. Look, I'm, I'm hoarding my diet, Dr. Pepper. Look at this. Who wants to throw away seven bucks? Somebody. Oh, I don't want you to have to carry it. I asked Jenny, I said, why did you buy that? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, y'all, yeah, back no, with the class my like oh. Here we go. Shuttle's here. We gotta roll. I'll let y'all know how base orientation goes. Later. All of that wouldn't have been in here. No matter what. Leaving Chicago for another like two to three months. Two to three months. You're not going home? No. Oh. I have a home to go to. I live in a fifth wheel. It's in storage now. 
Okay, what's the fifth wheel? Recreational vehicle. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, y'all. Anyway, say good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my <laughs> Base tour is done. Y'all, I don't want to be in another sit-down classroom setting for the rest of my life. Like, <laughs> I really do enjoy my classmates, but just when you get in a setting with people trying to teach you something and people not understanding and 10,000 people asking questions, it's stressful, okay? Anyways, um, I decided to call my sister, have her come pick me up. Um, I ended up swapping some of my reserve days, so I was supposed to be off tomorrow and the next day, but um, I swapped a reserve day, so now I'm just off tomorrow, and then I start a five-day block of reserve um, Monday, on Wednesday. To, yeah, on Wednesday. So I'm just going to go over to her house, spend some time with her and my niece, and then tomorrow um, she'll drop me back off probably at my cousin's house which is probably where I really will be staying because she's, I think I said all this already and I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself but she stays I guess closer to the city my sister stays like way out there um, and from my cousin's house I can just hop on the blue line Chicago terms I really feel like I'm back in New York again trying to learn a whole nother city and it's <laughs> but anyways, I'm I'm gonna make it. I did it before. I can do it again. It's not a big deal. And you know what I realized today? This officially, not that I'm gonna ever say that I ever officially lived in New York or Chicago, but this officially makes me. I have lived in three of the the top four largest cities, population wise, in the United States. So New York is the biggest with like 8.3 million people and then I think LA is next with like three something million people. Then Chicago has like 2.6 million something and then Houston has 2.2. So that's just a little fun fact. I don't know. I thought it was interesting. Sister's calling. Let's see where she is. Let's see what she says. Hello? front of the Hilton across from where you see all the shuttles and buses where the Hilton valet parking I guess would be yeah the bus shuttles I'm right across from there 